Adding the endings ing, ed, and er to verbs where no change is needed to the root word, ing and er always add an extra syllable to the word, and ed sometimes does. The past tense of some verbs may sound as if it ends in d, extra syllable, or d or t, no extra syllable, but all these endings are spelt ed. If the verb ends in two consonant letters, the same or different, the ending is simply added on. Right, well, if you understand that, you're doing a great deal better than I am. My name is James Fletcher, and I've been teaching English for nearly 25 years, and I'm hoping through the YouTube channel Learning for Legends to bring you this subsection, Spelling for Legends, of which I'm hoping to help out your children at home uh, who may age between 7 and 13. And I'm going to take words that the National Curriculum use here in, in England and also take words from an old traditional uh, spelling list, Chanel spelling list. So they're going to be everyday words along with some challenging words that children are getting wrong at those age groups. My intention is to, through one video, to give the words to your children, uh, to very quickly point out a few patterns that the words might have, and then in the second video to give them a test, of which I'll put that word into the context of a sentence, which is absolutely vital. And then the third video will be uh, me going through the answers and uh, giving a little assignment to follow up with, uh, which I call the spelling workshop. So I hope that's really clear. I want it to be totally simple. I want it very much for your daughter or son to be able to sit down and get on with this without troubling you at all. And uh, at the end of the day, I hope it will be really helpful and that uh, there's a chance that their spelling might improve from this. Uh, and I certainly know that committing things to memory or trying to commit things to memory is, is highly suitable for, for many children and not suitable for others. So this method may well not work with your child. Uh, and perhaps uh, colourful publications that you can get online or, or, or from shops will be more helpful. But uh, I certainly feel that this method uh, will, will help the majority of children. And I, I, I do hope that that is the case. Thanks very much for listening and uh, I hope you all spell well. Take care. Bye bye.